Hey there, YouTube. So today, this is my 20 subscriber special. So um, I, on my channel, I had promised that I would make a long shot video if I got 20 subscribers. So here it is. So this long shot is basically finished. It's not internally finished. It's got um, basically a cosmetic finished. So um, this is not your regular. Um, bolt action long shot. Um, I felt that that was um, slower because you had to go, you had to, with an extra spring, you had to um, cock it back of that, push forward, and then pull the trigger because you had to leave both hands from the trigger. But then moving it to here makes it go and shoot, shoot, like a shotgun. So um, let's talk about the foregrip for right now. So um, first we'll talk about what I made it out of. Um, it's uh, 0 0.220 um, of an inch thick. Uh, it's actually a acrylic sheet. It's um, clear. I got it for like eight bucks for a lot. And um, it is covered with uh, electrical tape, which makes it more comfortable and um, grippy. But so that's that. So what I've done is I have made two equal of these. This elbow plating type thing, um, just a cut that's following kind of like Coop's foregrip long shot, and then I did two of those, and I made a bottom plate that's a little bit longer than the top, and I cut out indents in the the regular plate and put that in there. And when I did that, uh, since I had not integrated anything for a front gun like this front gun shell, um, it was going it was slipping down. So what I did was I took this uh, wire right there, right here, and um, I drilled a hole through here and uh, through there, and then I drilled a hole, a line going through this. So when I prime it, it stays up there. And then over here, I drilled two holes right here and connect it with a Vulcan, uh, Vulcan uh, cocker because it's a little bit longer. So I have not blocked the stock yet. Let's move to the internal mods. So I've got given it, um, I've given it a long shot spring, a recon spring, and an eye finder spring. So it's got a decent draw now. It's uh, pretty uh, heavy, but um, it's definitely manageable. So so that's all the priming. I've taken all, all the locks. This is the uh, priming lock. So. I don't have to dry carry it. Then there's a trigger lock, so if it's primed back, I can pull the trigger and uh, resist dry firing it. And then the other lock is the clip lock, where I can put a clip in with the bolt forward. I'm not going to demonstrate that yet. But um, so further things I'm going to do is I'm going to put a streamline accepting angel breach inside of here, um, SG Nerf style, um, so I can use streamlines and Stefans. So that's going to be great. But um, yeah, I'll show you it firing now. And so here's the clip lock. So that's how fast the priming is. So, as you can see, and then you can always take the clip out like that. It's a very powerful weapon. Um, once it has the angel breach inside, it'll be extremely powerful. It'll be 100% airtight. And um, for those of you who don't know what angel breach is, it was a breach. Um, breach meaning the part that um, the plastic part inside that when you prime it back, it opens and lets the dark pop in. But an angel breach is basically um, made that out of brass, and it's completely airtight, meaning all the barrels are sealed up against the. Um, the barrels are sealed together so no air is escaping throughout the barrel and that's really nice and it shoots really far because it's a tighter barrel fit but that's that um, this is made by Forsaken Angel so you can check out uh, nerfhaven.com if you want to look at that but anyways so this is a pretty nice gun I want to say one more time thank you to all my subscribers um, that helped to make this happen um, so I'm thankful for that and um, until next time